Hey guys, what's up? It's Darla. So today I just want to come and show you guys um, my 11 month, my almost 11 month son's toy collection that he has been slowly gathering up since he was a newborn. So these are things that um, he typically plays with. So I'm just going to show you guys what all he has and maybe um, give you guys some ideas if you're out shopping for a baby anywhere between zero to 12 months. Maybe give you some guys some ideas whether a birthday's coming up or uh, you just want to give your kid a present. Who knows? Anyways, let's just jump right in and I'm going to show you around. Okay, so just for starters, this is his little toy cubicle area that I set up for him a couple months ago when he started getting a little bit more mobile. He was scooting around, so it's really cool to see him just come up to this, pick what toy he wants, and starts playing with it. All right, so we're not going to go in any particular order. I'm just going to kind of start right here. So these are some books that I have out for him. Um, he has quite a collection of baby books. I like to have some out here though, uh, just so he has access to books wherever he is. These are some fun little sensory books. This is Never Touch a Dragon. He loves to play with these books and they're beautiful, they're colorful, they're sensory. So he has a lot of fun playing with that. There's another good sensory book that I have. It's not that's not my truck. These are both series books. Um, they're both sensory. He loves them, the bright colors. They've all got something to play with and he loves using his cute little finger and touching each little thing on each page. And so that's super fun. Uh, he also has this little book he is obsessed with. He loves all the bright colors. He'll sit there and point to each one and we'll go over what is what that he is pointing at. So this has been a really good learning tool for him. Um, so, and it's cool because he can sit there and he'll um, flip the page over, he'll point. So that's just fun to see. We've also have quite a few pop-up little books that he likes and I'll kind of sing the song. They're like little nursery rhymes. I'll see if I can show you guys. And I'll sing and play with a little spider and his little face lights up. So I love doing that with him. Then we have a ton of little stuffies. He loves these little stuffies. Little stuffed animals. So he's got this little dragon. He's got this cute little puppy with tags on it. This little security blanket. And then his absolute favorite, you guys, is this little lamy right here. It's really small and it rattles it and he just loves cuddling it and giving it a big kiss. So super fun to see. And then we've got a couple more on the back. I have another cute little lamy that he doesn't play with nearly as much. And then this little rabbit, which he has not shown too much interest in. So let me put all those back real quick because there's a ton of them. <laughs> then we have this cute little stacker toy. He didn't play with this like you traditionally would when he first got it, obviously, because he was only eight months old. So anyways, he would just kind of take this and dump everything out. But now he is starting to stack them, which is really cool to see him start to be able to learn that new skill. And I really love this particular, this is the Sassy brand, I believe. And it's just really cool because they're all different textured and like this one's a little bit heavier. And then he's got a rattle right here, which he loves. And they're just all a little bit different and they all have different, like they feel different. So he really, really loves this toy. I would highly recommend it. Um, yeah next toy he has is anything obviously that is loud and obnoxious most kids love because they're loud and obnoxious and fun <laughs> so i am not going to turn this on for your sanity because if you turn this guy on it won't stop talking it just it takes off literally <laughs> so this is a little pull toy which he'll be able to use for pretty soon here actually which is a scary thought to think about so it's got this propeller right here it's got tons of different buttons he has a blast with this he loves this toy this has been a great one for him then i just got him this little truck like maybe a month ago and i went out on a limb i really didn't think that a baby would ever play with a toy truck i thought that they had to be like toddler stage to like that but boy was i wrong because this kid loves his truck he will sit there and push it around. He will put like little things in and out of the toy. He'll dump it out and he will just literally have a blast. 
So, and the cool thing about this truck in particular, it is a green toy. So basically it's made out of nine milk jugs and it's really cool. It's very affordable and it's really good quality. So that's a really cool toy that we have for him. Then over here we have his little bouncer that we have used literally since he came home from the hospital. This bouncer has been such a hit. It's been such a staple for us. And even to this day, before bed, we will put him in it. He likes to just bounce in there, sit down, kind of unwind for the day. He loves this thing. And we'll put on like little people, little people, Fisher Price, or just to show that he really likes for about 15 minutes or so and put him to bed. Um, anyways, that's what we do. That's what works for us and for him. So I love that guy. And then over here, I got this for him around eight months old when he started to become a little bit more mobile. And this really helped encourage him to start crawling. So I'm going to turn this one on because it's not too obnoxious. Basically, you roll it, makes music, and then when it stops, like fully stops, it'll stop with the music. But anyways, that's a really fun toy. He has so much fun with it. Then we've got this fun little, I don't know what you call this, like a pullback toy or something. So basically you do this or whatever and it slowly goes. This thing is like an older toy, so it doesn't work quite the way it's supposed to but i like that it's soft and he can plays around with it too and he'll just grab a hold of it and you know crawl around with it and he thinks that's fun so next up is this adorable airplane wooden walker i love this thing so much and so does he so let me show you guys all its cool little features <laughs> It has these fun little beads right here that he enjoys playing with. He likes to play with the propeller. He'll even just sit here and just kind of scroll it back and forth. It usually doesn't squeak though. Huh. Anyways, and he also loves using this to play, put things in and out of this little airplane. So he gets excited about that. He will pull up on it. He hasn't started walking just yet with it. I know it won't be too long though until he starts doing that. He's already pulling, you know, obviously pulling up on furniture. He's cruising around with the furniture. So it won't be too long here. And then it has this cute little pilot here that he likes to spin around. So that's super fun. All right, next toy is this little, I don't I forget what you call it, but let me show you what it does. So this is a fun like little Montessori toy and it's not as big of a hit as I thought it was going to be. He'll play with it for a couple minutes max and be bored of it. He really doesn't play with it that much. So same thing with this little wooden rattle. He never really cared for it. And same thing with this little wooden toy. Like he'll sit there and he'll take it out and be like cool and move on to something else. So I'd say those are those were not the best. Okay, this little object permanence box has been really cool though. I really love this. I got this form of when he was eight months old. I got a lot of these when he was eight months old when he really started playing more with toys. Um, so yeah, the day I got it, I just kind of showed him like, you know, this goes in here. Uh, this is what the object permanent box does. And he immediately picked up on it. He immediately put it in the, grab the ball, put it in here. And that was just so much fun to see, except now he's grown tired of that, I guess. And he just picks it up and just starts slamming it into the ground. So we don't play with that too much anymore because of that. <laughs> he, and I'm also scared he's gonna like whack himself in the face now that he's doing that with it. But at first it was a really, really cool toy. All right, then I have this little basket just filled with like these little soft blocks and these stacking cups. And he's just gotten into stacking them up and knocking things over. Um, so that's been really fun. We also have these little sensory balls in this tiny little basket here. And he likes to play with them, feel like the different things on each ball. He'll sit there and all on this one. He will chase them around. And speaking of chasing balls, you guys, this thing, this is his favorite. He gets so excited. We'll sit there and um, roll this back and forth. He'll sit there and just play with it, squeeze it, play with the little um, soft spikes on the side. I mean, he loves this thing. He'll, he'll chase it around forever. Then we've got this, which 
you know, not a toy, but you know, babies play with things that aren't toys and he loves anything that makes noise and he'll, he has fun with this. So I'm just like, cool, play with it. <laughs> so that stays in his little mix. I got this toy when he was, um, gosh, probably like six weeks old or something, thinking that he would like it grow into liking it and he never really did he loves the noise that it makes and i thought it was really cool that each thing had a like different sensory piece basically he'll play with it for maybe a minute and then be like i'm done i don't care about that then we've got this thing that i thought would be a cool toy he's never ever played with it but this guy all these o balls are amazing especially to start off um as your uh, baby's first toy i would highly recommend because they've got like these big holes in here which is really easy for your little one to grasp and he started being able to pick this up and hold it at three months old so that was just really fun to see him start to interact with a toy that early then over here we have this activity cube which i'm sure all of you guys know what a baby activity cube does like this one in particular is quite obnoxious but we don't have many of those we only have three toys that make noise at the moment i'm sure we'll probably end up getting a few more for his birthday i don't mind having some toys that are obnoxious i'm not against that but i do like to have other toys that kind of like encourages imagination and things such as that so this toy though it has different animal sounds on it you know the drum set and then he has these little spinny things and yeah so there's lots of different things that he likes to do and hits will entertain him for quite some time and then his all-time favorite toy since he could start playing with toys like even as a newborn i would show him this because they're black and white and you know when they're newborns like that that's all they can see so this has always been a great toy that he's had he has quite a few of these little um, scrunchy books now that he knows he like i said he knows how to turn the page he'll play with the sensory pieces and he will play with this thing for a very long time he still loves it he can see himself in the mirror yeah so this has been really great to just see him interact more and more with this book as he's grown and then you know again crunchy not a crunchy a scrunchy or crinkly toy that he really likes to play with and then this is just another touchy feel book then we got him this little remote because this guy loves remotes so i got him his own thinking that maybe he would leave ours alone now but no that's not the case because the actual real remotes are obviously way better than this little baby remote but he still does play with it and then we've got this little rattle which of course of course all babies love rattles because they make noise and they're super fun <laughs> So sweet. Taylor, you want to show everyone how you play with your big truck? Yeah. Is that fun? Wow. like this video um i hope this guys this video give you gave you guys some ideas to what to buy for your little one or friend or whomever so anyways thank you guys so much for watching and please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thanks guys bye